Hello and welcome to the first in a series of monthly recipes which I'm going to be producing for my Facebook group followers. This is where I'm going to take some great ingredients and show you how you at home can execute wonderful dishes, very simple but effective to wow either your partner, dinner party guests or just simply after work just to come home, great recipes simply done. So for the first recipe, I've chosen a child's favourite, but it brings back a lot of memories for people, gooseberry fall. Um, gooseberries are very underused in my book. Um, it's one of those things that people eat them raw, they, they are quite sour, so generally you do have to cook them. Cook them down, get a natural sweetness from them and add some sugar as well, depending on obviously the sour, the sour flavour you have there. Um, very simple, but effective, it's great for the summer, because they've just come into season. We're now in July, um, been around for about two weeks now, but they will get better. Another couple of weeks, they're gonna be really, really spot on. So these are the gooseberries I'm using today. We've just topped and tailed them, got rid of any little um, uh, hard bits underneath and on the top, and just gone through them, make sure there's no bad bits in there. So great gooseberries. We're gonna cook them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some, uh, some caster sugar, 100 grams of caster sugar, just sprinkled on, then we're gonna put them onto a light heat on the stove. They're gonna take about 15 to 20 minutes just to cook down gently. The natural juices will come out, the sweetness from those juices will come out, and they'll just start to come together like a nice compote. So when the gooseberries have been on the stove, for about 15, 20 minutes, you can see what I've got here is you've got a lovely gooseberry compote. You can see the lovely sweetness is coming through. That's the pectin. The pectin's coming out. That's a thickening agent. So the pectin's started to thicken up. But what I have got is I've still kept the shape of the gooseberries. That's really important. I want the flavours to come out. I want the juices to be really, really flavoursome. But I want them to keep a nice shape. So 15, 20 minutes is ample. As they get more and more ripe, as the season goes on, they'll probably cut down to about 10 minutes. So allow that to cool. So in the bowl, I've got some double cream. You can use whipping cream. Um, I prefer double cream, a uh, bit more flavor there, a bit more oomph, and it's got a little bit more calories. And this is what a dessert's all about. We shouldn't hold back on calories. So sugar, vanilla sugar. Uh, what I do is, where I use my seeds on other dishes, into sweet pastries, creme patisserie, that kind of thing, we keep the actual pod. I blend this down into caster sugar and it releases a lovely flavor. So you can see here, it's gone sort of a gray amber color. What that is, it's released that lovely vanilla flavor and that's what we're gonna use. So vanilla sugar, that goes in to our cream along with a little bit of lemoncello. Um, what I like about the lemon is it really works well with the gooseberries, so about 25 ml of lemoncello. If you like it a little bit more boozy, then add a little bit more. So we're gonna whisk this up just until it starts to go to a ribbon stage. Okay, so now we've whisked the, uh, the cream. I would call it um, just before a ribbon stage, but it sort of finds its own level. Don't over whisk it, you're gonna end up with butter. We want to have it nice and light so it's easy to eat. So there's our cream with our vanilla sugar and our lemoncello in. We've got our cooled gooseberries. So take a glass. I'm using a lovely martini glass here. Any glass that you, uh, you prefer. The nicely cooked, cooled gooseberries into the bottom, like so. Let's take our cream and just spoon the cream over. You can see by the way the cream is going on top, that's the consistency we're looking for. It's not over whipped, it's not too runny, but it's got a lovely, soft consistency. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take a few more of the gooseberries and a little bit of that juice over the top. You can't get any more simple. And this is very important. The reason why I really bang on about seasonality is when it's in season, it means it's packed full of flavour. It means it's a good product because obviously lots of it around and it's the right time for it to be picked. And obviously for you at home, it's in abundance. So it's a lot cheaper. So it's a lot better for your pocket. We're just going to finish this with a small amount of mint. I'm not one of these people that puts little sprigs of mint on things just for the sake of it. It's important, if you're going to use an ingredient, it's actually serving a purpose for the dish. Nice, fine julienne of mint. That mint, that lemon, the gooseberries, it just balances really well. We're gonna serve it with some more small shortbread biscuits. And that is it, a perfect summer gooseberry fall.